Alright, we're back there. Sorry about the last time there. Just a bunch of stuff. So anyway, we're back at it again there. Hopefully for the final time. <laughs> KOJ here. And introduce yourself. Alright, it's uh, Oddball76 Gaming. Yeah. Uh, and I, obviously, I did, a, I did play Far Cry 3 when it came out on the PS3. Three, which was uh, was a while back, but it's a game that I fondly remember playing and really enjoying. I enjoyed the the actual world, but I, I really enjoyed and I got quite invested uh, in the story at first. Be like because of, of the, the main baddie, to me, Vass, who uh, who I found to um, yeah to watch act in there. He was very uh, intimidating. He, he just brought out a sort of fear when you watched and you listened. Uh, oh yeah! I just found the person was quite uh, was very good, and it, it actually you know it because we all have fears, and that that person just uh, you know it, it, they actually seem believable to be that that kind of like psychotic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, psychotic and indeed. Yes. No, I, 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 I wouldn't want to meet him in, uh, in, in like real life because I'd be breaking it. <laughs> oh, yeah, boss is insane. Very insane. Oh, yeah. I, also, uh, I, I enjoyed the actual, the, the actual world because I, I, I remembered playing two. And I did have some fun with that, quite a lot, lot, lot of fun. But obviously, it looked a lot more colourful, a, a bit. It was less realistic to to me. Oh no, so I'm the same problem here now. Oh, uh, don't tell me it's uh, if it wasn't me. It's just, a, okay. No, it was me. It was my phone. I just muted. Okay. It. Okay. Uh, but uh, so for me, the, the world was great. I remember specifically, I went to uh, to take out base, and I I had to put uh, some explosives in a shed. And I put them in there, and I had snuck in there really quiet, and I had literally cr crawled in, opened the door, laid a charge. I, I was running out, and I, I, I was getting ready to blow it. And I, as I ran out, out of, of the building, someone saw me, and I thought, well, I've only got a couple of seconds till this ammo uh, shed goes boom. And Just. as I was new to the game, Yes. I thought, oh, they, they like rivers there, so I ran to the river. Okay. Pulled the uh, the like building went bang, and as I jumped into the river, a massive jaws opened up, and I was eaten by a an alligator. And it, I, I literally almost crapped myself. It proper frightened me because I did not expect a blinking alligator or, or, or something to just appear from from like no no. No, where it proper scared me, but it made me laugh as well. I was pretty shocked, but but, but I was really like, wow, that was one of those wow moments for me. I, I really wish I, I'd have had the uh, uh, like ability to have recorded something like that. Cause I oh, know. yes. This game is very insane with all the stuff you can do when it just blowing stuff up and all that. There, It's pretty fun. Yeah, I used to like... Uh, what, if you get your bow or a good sniper rifle late game, you could get some real good rifles. I used to like uh, sniping from ridiculous ranges and flipping, hitting a target from a ridiculous range. And then also, uh, if you were doing a base and they had a, a bear in a cage or a yes. tiger, you could let it out, couldn't you? By like shooting the cage open, and then they would go cra crazy and, and, and go wild. And, you could just watch the, the like carnage. It was really good. You know, I really enjoyed that part of it as well. Yeah, the ending was cool. Oh yeah! All right, Mate, pretty good stuff, was, man. Very good stuff. Yeah, sorry, it was a bit rushed. So no, no, it's okay. If we if you have more time, we'll. It wasn't good. planned, so. Yeah. No, it's okay, man. It's okay. We will. Next time we'll so get it like, get it on track to there. As best you can, mate. Or do or just leave it as improv to just say, Oh it's rush while other while we really it's really time constraints, not really our fault there. Sorry about that. If there if there is any anything like that, it's just his first time and we and at the time is going by too fast, that's the problem. Yeah, well, like I said, I, I mean 
the the like Discord call came in. I thought, oh, what time is it? And I thought I'd answer it. I, I just thought you like one in the chat. I didn't realise you you wanted an interview. <laughs> yeah, interview interview with you. What same thing. So anyway, that's pretty much it there. Have a good one and see you guys later. Thank you, Oddball, for joining. That's all right. Take care, so. Take care. Okay. All right, back uh, retro mom gamers here. Killer J here. So basically, okay, okay. Yeah, I play this because I gotta like know where I'm at with Far Cry 3. Basically, yes, this game has like good elements and good graphics to it and gameplay and all that. Because yes, it has like the good elements in it. There, are your real first-person shooter gameplay, your crafting abilities, all that stuff that you need in this game. You basically find crafting abilities, all that. Just basically dead some that the sense that basically season 12 is. Yeah, it has to be where it's at because it's really like it's gonna take a while to get there. It's gonna take even longer to get there because there's a lot of stuff being added to it currently, and a lot of people are, there's a lot of things that are being added in as we speak. There, it's gonna be crazy amount of stuff. It just has to like getting all the reviewers in there, which is gonna be incredibly hard because really, really, really had time to do like the reviews in general. Just like just everyone in general is just like time has been constrained. To, const Time constraints are really bad in the sense that it should never happen. It have to happen too much there. It happens way too much in Retro Modern Gears. Is that bad here sometimes there? That, uh, yes, I should, uh, I should basically, basically say that Season 12 is going to basically be one of the bigger seasons and one of the bigger seasons that take even longer than 11. Believe it or not, because 11 had some, uh, had good elements, but it had some of its hokiness. Basically, the hokiness I was mentioning it was your Hello Neighbor game, which wasn't really a good starting game in that sense that people were thrown off by a loop there because because basically anyone that like the games have to be good in the seasons and no more. You know, if there's if there's, if there's someone recommends see something that's really hokey, I can't review it. And, and like Five Nights at Freddy's, don't even ask. For, people don't even ask for that. No one, no one should know. Don't ask for that game because oh, it's a scary game. It's not. It's just a bunch of teddy bears. Sorry. You know, you know. I, I want to review stuff that I like. I'm not gonna review something I'm not gonna enjoy. Like, if it's just like a one of those tr trendy games, I don't really care. You know what I mean? I gotta. If I review something, I gotta have fun with it. But, you know, that's not the point of reviewing games. Like, yes, you make fun with a game and that there. Just like season twelve is basically all the good shit and combined. It's not really any of the hokiness because eleven had its hokiness in a sense. Yes, and I really there was too much hokiness in that season in the sense that. Basically, Far Cry has your good old uh, single-player and multiplayer, such so first-person shooter, as well as released on the PC, the Xbox One, X, uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 3. All those systems basically had like the good elements of the season. Basically, they, they basically. Do you want to say uh, why you like you know? It's okay you recommend me stuff on Retro Mon Gears so if it's a good suggestion I'll take into consideration, but for me I gotta like do like do the stuff that falls with my heart. I can't really do something I don't like because if I do something I don't like it's not it's no fun for me, like it's no fun for me to do something I don't like in the sense that yes, it should never have to be the way it should be. It should be basically the things are how it is the if you recommend me something I don't mind. I'm not saying don't recommend stuff for the seasons, but you gotta understand, feel like, you know, not trying to insult anyone or not sure you mean or whatever, just like, be realistic on the recommendations there, like, yes, you can recommend good stuff and whatever, just like, don't like, like, if there's a good, like, a good idea or whatever, just like, put it in there, review it, if it's a fun game, I'll review it, just like, I don't, want, I don't really want too many hokey reviews there, there's, uh, basically, uh, Far Cry Free is a good game in that sense that yes, it has good elements and it has good gameplay, your crafting abilities, all that stuff in a first-person shooter that is basically uh, there in the sense that it has your good old gameplay and it has your fun, fun, fun abilities and all that. Basically, you get tattooed for more upgrading skill trees and all that. You get all that stuff. You get your health to upgrade all the way upgraded, which is good, which is great. That's fun. That's fine. You get your health upgraded because it's it's fun in that sense. Because uh, I I like this the game because it's fun because 
They're just like they're, they're just like the season in general. Season twelve has its good stuff in it. You're just getting there. Just gonna have to keep keep delivering on the good shit. There we go. That's what Retro Mon Gears needs, like on a consistent basis. There all the time. There you can't just be like okay, you have maybe like one or like you have a, a, a couple of good reviews that are like games that people want, and the rest of the reviews are just like the rest of the games that are there are just like. Like why the fuck are they being, being reviewed in the first place? Just because, uh, just because some person wants it and they don't really care about the reviews, like, yeah. Basically, I want to, like, explain Season 12 and the motives that they don't have shitty motives or anything like that. I'm just going to say, if, it, if people want to recommend me stuff, go ahead, but don't recommend anything too hokey or, like, stupid. Yeah, doesn't make any sense for me to... Oh jeez, the hokiness starts already. Okay, I need to have to pause it here or whatever. Yeah, so season twelve is basically what it is because I know what it is is just is is what it is there, but but uh, I enjoy it so far. I like Far Cry Free. The gameplay is pretty good in this game. It's just really fun. That has really good uh, multiplayer, has really good single player and multiplayer, and really good gameplay and. All the stuff in there is just like realistic bullet damage when you got shot in the arm. You have to like dig into your like dig into your arm and take the bullet out and do do like a wrap your arm around if you have no like first aid kits and that there. And yes, this game, uh, yeah, this capture device is for game plays for without even the LPG light there. But uh, basically, uh, I want to say thank you for watching, people. And you know, it may not be the best review in that sense, but. Uh, there's basically going to be stuff that's going to have to be addressed later on down the line there, but I'm going to address it in the sense that I don't want to address it right away there for the most part, but I'm going to address it later on there for the most part there. But basically, I'm going to give like, put, like, not going to like, but uh, yeah. That season 12 will be good, and Far Cry 3 is a good game. Thank you for watching, people. I really, really wasn't my best review, but thank you, Oddball76, for helping out with this one there because. Yes, it was kind of like Far Cry 3 was kind of like a rush job review in a sense that, yeah, it had to be rushed. I, I didn't really like rushing out this review. Was there anyone hot? It's like one of the reviews that like, you could see, you can tell it's kind of rushed there. Shouldn't have ever had to do that in a sense that, shouldn't have rushed a season there. But, but anyway, that's besides the point there. Just like, it has to be done in that sense that, okay, well. Okay, well, what am I doing? People are like, you mean, you mean spirit? Nah, no, just like, uh, don't get, don't get anything that's construed viewers out there. You can, rec you can still recommend me stuff, but recommend me stuff review. Just don't recommend anything too like, too silly or too, nothing that's too realistic. Recommend me stuff that's realistic there and things that I think, that I think I would like. Go right ahead. Just don't recommend anything. Just. Stupid. That's all I asked her. But I want to say thank you for watching. I uh, give this game an 8.5 out of 10. And this Killer G Gaming, thank you for watching. And yes, you'll see more reviews in that sense. That yes, it's not going to be any season 12. is going to be a good season once again. And just like the previous Retro Mon Gamer seasons were pretty good in the reboot series, but I think there was like some things in there that shouldn't have never been there in the first place. Because from now on, if you're going to recommend this stuff, you have to recommend it in the sense that it has to be. Dick. It has to be reviewed, not recommending the same thing for you, recommending things that shouldn't be recommended. So, alright, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching Season 12, uh, Far Cry 3 Classic Edition. Good game, good graphics, good everything. It's good, all good in general. So, goodbye, thank you for watching. See you later. Peace out.